Hello everybody and welcome back to the quick take. In today's video I'll be comparing two excellent strikers who are currently experiencing their breakout season. Victor Gokedes of Sporting and Santiago Jimenez of Feyenoord. Before I continue, I would like to quickly remind you I am running a giveaway with ownasaber.com where at 15,000 subscribers you could be in with a chance at winning the King of London lightsaber, the perfect saber for every Chelsea fan. Three participants will be chosen and all you have to do to enter is subscribe to the channel and check the pinned comment down below for more information. And with that, on with the video. I'm going to start with the Swedish centre forward Victor Gokedes. Born on the 4th of June 1998, Victor began his journey into the footballing world with Yves Bremer Boykana, a club well known for its production of numerous Swedish superstars including Tottenham Hotspur's Kulisevsky. The young Swede was eager to impress and impress he did. For the under-19s, he registered an impressive 20 goals in 21 appearances before moving up to the under-21s where his form continued. 12 goals and 1 assist in 10 games. It was very clear the club had a star in the making on their hands and before long Victor Gokedes was called up to the senior squad in 2015. The striker quickly became an integral part of the team with his goals helping the club secure promotion. An impressive feat with Broma Poikana was standing a rough period at the time. It quickly became apparent that Gokeres was destined for bigger and better things and after 67 games in which Gokeres netted 25 goals was providing 9 assists he would make a move to the Premier League joining Brighton for 1 million euros on the 1st of January 2018. The next 3 years would act as a perfect chance to develop as a player as Gokadesh would enjoy loans to FC St. Pauli, Swansea and eventually Coventry City in the 21-22 January transfer window, the club where he would really make a name for himself. In his first full season with the Sky Blues, Gokadesh netted 18 goals in all competitions, making up nearly a third of all Coventry's goals that season. It must be noted that the championship is one of the most competitive leagues in the world. To hit the ground running in the style in which he did is nothing short of highly impressive. The following season, Gokuresh would once again improve upon his impressive goal tally, this time scoring 22 in all competitions. 21 of the 22 were scored in the league, 15 of which he netted with his right foot. Eventually, the big move came when Ruben Amarim's sporting side coughed up 20 million euros for his services. So far this season, Gokuresh has 16 goals and 7 assists in 19 appearances. Behind those numbers, there is a player, a 25 year old 6 foot 2 Swedish striker who excels in a number of metrics. One of his biggest strengths is his progressive ball carrying ability. Here you see his heat map for the season so far, which clearly shows how Gokuresh's main area of operation is in the final third, just outside the penalty area. What the striker likes to do is receive the ball in these areas before running at goal, keeping the ball close to feet whilst using his balance and natural strength to hold off players. This has been incredibly successful for the Swede as he sits in the 99th percentile for a number of impressive metrics, take-ons attempted, progressive carrying distance, carrying us into the final third and penalty area, along with ranking in the high 90s for goals and assists, shot creating actions and fouls drawn. So where other strikers act as more target men like Giroud or poachers whose sole focus is to orient themselves into a position to be in the right place at the right time, Gokuresh does a lot of the hard work himself, making him a challenge for any defender to deal with. He's not necessarily a striker that requires a system set in place around him to get the best out of him. You don't need to surround him with De Bruyne's and Verts's and Salah's for he creates a lot of chances for himself and for the team averaging 0.37 assists per 90. Very impressive for a striker. Now, how do I think he'd fit into this Chelsea side? I think quite well. This season, Chelsea's main striking options have been Nicholas Jackson and Armando Breuer, both of whom look far from the level demanded from a Chelsea striker. I think Jackson is very lucky to be on the amount of goals he has this season, considering how off he looks when he plays. His expected goals is relatively high because he's had the ball and the chance to score from fairly easy positions. However, his actual goal tally doesn't reflect this. I do think it was entirely unfair to pin our goal scoring dreams on the Villarreal striker coming off a very impressive purple patch. And so I really don't blame Jackson for not being the greatest striker the world has ever seen. Vita Gokuresh isn't that either but I would say he's more proven than someone like Nicholas Jackson, especially in English football. What he's accomplishing and producing in Portugal is very exciting, and he is a big part of sporting success this season. When Coventry sold the Swedish striker, there was a release clause embedded into his contract. 100 million euros. Is he worth 100 million? No. No, absolutely. Not every player has to be 100 million. Can he turn into that? Absolutely he can, but he needs at least another season, maybe 18 months before that price tag can be justified. Today, I would say he's worth 60 million euros, a premium price for a player who's showing great potential, has great heart, and will no doubt go on to have a great career.
Now, moving on to the Mexican and Feyenoord bagsman Santiago Jimenez. Born on the 18th of April 2001, Santiago is a number of years younger than Gokedes, but yet is still enjoying a season filled to the brim with goals and excitement. He started his playing career with Cruz Azul's academy in 2014, where he would reside until 2019, where he would officially make his senior league debut for the side he had spent many years with, growing and developing as a player. After 88 appearances, 20 goals, and one Player of the Month award later, Santiago Jimenez would make his big move to Europe, joining the Dutch side Feyenoord for 6 million euros. It was decided by the Feyenoord head coach Arna Slot that the Mexican needed time to embed himself into the side whilst developing the necessary amount of fitness required to fulfill the role of a striker in his system. Arna Slot is the type of coach who provides opportunities to those who deserve it and not those who perhaps carry an established name or large price tag. This makes sure there is no room for slacking under his watch, no matter how famous or well known you may be. Therefore, Jimenez wasn't just handed the responsibility of being the main number 9, he had to work for it. In his first full season in the Eredivisie, in 32 games, Santiago Jimenez scored an impressive 15 goals with 3 assists acting as a cherry on top. For 12 of those games he played less than 45 minutes, but by the end of the season he was undroppable. Between game week 25 and 32, Santiago Jimenez bagged a goal in every game, scoring a brace against Excelsior. It was clear Jimenez had found his rhythm, a rhythm which would find greater heights in the season to come. So far, in the 23-24 campaign for Feyenoord, Santiago Jimenez has scored 20 goals and 5 assists in 21 appearances, already outdoing his impressive goal tally from last season. But how does he do it? Well, Santiago Jimenez, when compared to Victor Gokedes, is a very different type of striker. Where Gokedes thrives with the ball at his feet with acres of space ahead of him, Jimenez works best without the ball, instead placing himself in the perfect positions to score goals and create space for those around him. This doesn't mean he's entirely useless with the ball at his feet. Far from it, as the Mexican striker is more than capable of changing directions quickly to open up a shooting angle or just send the defender to the shops. He somewhat reminds me of Gonzalo Higuain. They both have similar builds. They're not the quickest of strikers, but they make up for their deficiencies with pure goal scoring intent. It's their main focus, it's their only drive. How quickly and effectively can I put this ball in the back of the net? That's what's going through his mind, and it's worked a treat. With 1.04 goals per 90, he's actually outperforming his XG of 0.86, a big difference in the world of strikers. What's interesting to me is even with his highly impressive metrics for goals and shots on target, both in the very high 90s club, his shots on target percentage is actually lower than one would expect at 40.8%, ranking him in the 62nd percentile. Santiago Jimenez is still only 22 years old. Many strikers don't hit their peak until they're 28 or 29 years old. If he were to work on his accuracy in front of goal, he could genuinely begin to compete against Erling Haaland, another striker whose best work is done off the ball, maneuvering themselves into the correct spaces at the right times. As you can see by his heat map, Jimenez lives in the opponent's penalty area. This is once again testament to his positioning as a striker. He doesn't really get involved in the build up players much, whereas Gokedes is a key component to the attacking build up for sporting. Again, two very different types of strikers enjoying massive amounts of success and goals this season. Unsurprisingly, a number of clubs have already inquired into signing Feyenoord star man, including Arsenal, Spurs, and of course, Chelsea. According to Football Insider, it will take no less than £60 million to pry Jimenez away from the Eredivisie, around £60 million cheaper than Gokedes. Now to answer the question. Who is better? There are a number of ways to measure just how good a player is. The two most commonly used metrics are, well, their metrics and the world famous eye test. With the metrics, it's a good idea to define the most important and relevant statistics for a striker, that being goals, assists, expected goals, along with arguably the percent of the shots they take that are on target, and shot creating actions, just how impactful they are to the attack of the overall team. For goals, both Goikedes and Jimenez are rather impressive, but Jimenez is the clear winner with 1.01 per 90, averaging a goal every game, whereas Goikedes 0.54 goals per 90, a goal every other game. For assists, this is where the Swede can mount a counter-attacking maneuver with 0.35 assists per 90. Jimenez averages just 0.35. 
0.16, which is still highly respectable for a striker who isn't nearly as involved in the overall attacking on the ball play. Next is expected goals, a way of measuring the chances of a player scoring from their shooting angle and range. If a player has a higher expected goal ratio compared to their actual goal tally, this would suggest their goal scoring ability is subpar. Santiago Jimenez is once again the clear winner with 0.84 xG per 90, outperforming it by 0.17 in actual goals scored. Gorketa's four short with an xG of 0.47 outperforming his xg by 0.07 now for the percent of shots on target stat i believe this is a useful metric for analyzing how accurate they are in front of goal to nobody's surprise jimenez wins the game with 41.7 percent of his total shots being on target not bad but there is still room for improvement gorketa's ranks rather low with 34.5 percent of his shots being on target around a third of his total shots finally we come to shot creating actions a metric which measures not just their personal shots on goal but how their passes their take-ons and drawing of fouls results in shots. Interestingly, Gokedesh comes out on top with 4.44 shot creating actions per 90 compared to 2.57 from Santiago Jimenez. Therefore, by way of metrics, Santiago Jimenez wins 3-2. Some may, however, prioritise Gokedesh's strengths over Santiago's. He's still a competent goal scorer, whilst providing chances and other attacking outlets for his team. On the eye test, Jimenez comes across as the more composed man in front of goal. It's clear he has a real talent in front of goal, and is more than fine putting his body on the line at the prospect of scoring a goal. Gokedesh is certainly more exciting with his take-ons through dribbling, and easy on the eye technical ability. There's a word which can be associated with both players, but I think Gokedesh is more deserving of the title of passion. So, it's a really close battle. Jimenez wins in terms of key metrics, Gokeras wins in the eye test. At the end of the day, you want your striker to score goals, and Santiago Jimenez does that better than most. There's no shame in coming up short against Jimenez, he is simply brilliant in the penalty area. Also, I asked you guys via a poll in my community posts who you thought was the better striker. 2,600 of you voted, with 63% going with Santiago Jimenez. In regards to Chelsea, I would say Santiago Jimenez would be a better overall fit for what we need. Someone whose sole purpose is to position themselves to consistently finish the chances created for them by the likes of Enzo Fernandez and Madrid and Cole Palmer and eventually Christopher Nkunku, who, in his final season for Leipzig, was a creative machine. Mid to high 90s percentile rankings for through balls, key passes, and expected assists. Put him next to Santiago Jimenez, and the goals will come flying in. Another bonus to Santiago Jimenez is his price. He is available for 70 million euros, 30 million cheaper than Gokedesh, and 60 million cheaper than Victor Osimhen. But if the money isn't an issue, just go get Osimhen. And that about wraps it up. Tell me in the comment section down below who you think is the better striker, Victor Gokedesh or Santiago Jimenez. As always, I've been The Quick Take, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.